All right, so it says we're live. So welcome back, everybody. It is April the 21st, 2024 at 7 p.m. Eastern. If you're watching this back later, by all means, leave a comment and we will respond to you. And if you're new here tonight, let us know. What we typically do every week is just kind of have a little open question and answer session on Sunday nights to, uh, you know, chat and get to know our viewers even better. So if you're new, Nobody bites here. We'd <laughs> love we'd love for you to say hello and uh, welcome. So yeah, everybody, as y'all can see, we are indoors tonight. And let's play the can you see in, in Harris game like we do every week. Of course, internet and everything looks really good tonight. So it's been storming here off and on all day, raining. Now it's crazy windy, overcast. Yeah, what temp is it? It's, up, it's in the mid to low 60s and dropping fast. Looks like we're actually going to have some... Uh, nice weather here the next few mornings we might even get into the 40s on tuesday morning not what i was expecting this week it's a little chilly out there it is it is a little chilly of course <laughs> i know some of y'all are dealing with much chillier temperatures but it's been like high 80s all week here might even bump 90 one time swimming and everything else and then now we're getting another little cool snap which i'll gladly take because holy smokes it's been hot but i see by what thursday we're back in the mid 80s again but the next few days it's supposed to be really nice working weather so yes we're not outside plus we had company Friday made we a did. bunch of food, mm -hmm. way too much food. We got leftovers to eat we tonight. Got lots of leftovers, yeah. yeah. So what are we cooking tonight? Sorry, we're not cooking. Yeah, we're not cooking tonight. We already ate, so I mean, we'll probably just watch a movie after the live stream and maybe get a little snack later. For yeah, I would first. love for us to go have a fire, but we got this cool snack, yeah. but it's too windy right now. Yeah. So, yeah, we'll see what happens. I guess maybe a movie. We haven't watched one in forever, so that might be something we do. And, yes, I see everybody saying, oh, no, they're inside. So, y'all know that immediately <laughs> means, sorry, we're not cooking tonight. But at least, uh, at least we still want to get on here and chit-chat with y'all. So, Donald says, pool dip. Obviously, not tonight. Not tonight. <laughs> uh, we did dip in the pool. Actually, I never did, did I? But. You and your company dipped in yes, the pool on we got Friday. Friday. And it was nice. Yeah, I'm sure that felt really good because it was it's been really <laughs> yeah, hot the pool all this felt last perfect. week. Now I'm not getting in it today with it being windy, but by the end of this week, I'll probably be in the pool because I'm seeing like 85, 86 degrees. <clears throat> all right. So Miss Lee says it says live in 17 minutes now. I hope you can see us. I don't know why it's saying live in 17 minutes, because here we are. So Kale wants to know how the chickens are doing. So it's so funny. It's like every week one of the mm -hmm. hens chooses to be broody. So we got a new broody chicken um, today. So <laughs> she was out there sitting on five eggs and I moved and she was the one that was broody um, the time before last. So I'm trying to get the eggs out from underneath her and she's steadily trying to bring them back in. I'm like, <laughs> I don't know why they keep doing that. They want to hatch out some more babies so bad they can't stand it. And we just yeah. want to keep getting eggs out of there because we really don't have the room for more. Plus, we got, what, five or six eggs? She was sitting on five and there was another one out there this morning, right? Yes. Yeah, we're getting an average of six to seven a day. And we have seven hens. We're getting six to seven eggs a day, which is more than we can eat. So we've been hooking our friends and family up there. So Mr. Jimmy says they had golf ball size hell there yesterday. Crazy winds and storms. And I seen you were just saying been raining there all day again today. Wow. Luckily, we did not have nearly, well, really any bad weather. We had some lightning in the distance today and then just surprise pop-up storms that would just, uh, I lost my breath, dump heavy rain and then go out of nowhere and then they'd pop up again. So it's been a really weird day. Now we've got the cool weather which I'm loving, and all the wind out there. But uh, it's just the way it's been here lately. Storms every few days, it seems like. And y'all, our area is our area's flooded bad. Um, I'm talking mm. neighborhoods, roads yeah. closed, flooded homes. Every river's just way out of the bank. We got like a foot of rain last week and a crazy storm. We've been riding around trying to look at it. And we went to one area that we normally ride that's high and dry. And I bet it was what, what would you say, three to five miles of the roads underwater? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Just, just crazy easily. amounts. I'm actually going to, I recorded a lot of that. And on our other channel, review channel, where I kind of do our little side by side stuff and all, I'm going to put a video out on there so y'all can see just insane amounts of water. And some of the stuff is just too deep to safely travel. White water and cutting across everywhere. I mean, we had bad flash floods last week. So, Oh, it's feast or famine with this rain this year. So I do want to uh, recognize Adam because, my goodness, this dude is on a roll tonight. Looks like he's done gifted 20, 30, 40 memberships. My Adam, gosh, Adam. That is insane, buddy. Yes. Thank you so wow. much for doing that. That is so, so unbelievably kind and generous. Adam has been just killing it here lately. Thank you so much so for that. Generous. 
Yeah. So if any of y'all just got some memberships, obviously 40 of you did, uh, what we typically do on our membership stuff, you'll get some sneak peeks behind the scenes stuff. Occasionally we'll put a little short video out. Of course, I know y'all said y'all don't, you're not crazy about the short videos, but whenever there's something worth sharing, we'll do that. Um, this week, we're going to go ahead and put some sneak peeks out on the new gigantic fire pit slash cooker. And I'm not going to spoil gonna much. Crazy. It is going to be crazy. I'm out there. I've been welding it all up the last few days. I got to work Such on it some more project. this week. It's a huge project. Plus, I got other stuff to work on. But we're going to go ahead and put some sneak peeks out on that this week. <clears throat> so Eric says, Zoe is screaming. Hi. Hello, Zoe. Hi, Zoe. How Hi, are you? And uh, let's see, Mr. Robert said up in Virginia, rained all day and is in the 40s. Oof, rain in the 40s is nasty weather, that's for sure. But 40 sounds really nice, being that it is so hot down here. Well, not right now, of course. All right, so let's read a few more of these uh, comments. So Ray asks, what's your thoughts on increasing solar and battery to run electric-powered equipment? Tough to say. I mean, does it make sense in your area? Depends on your electricity usage how big of a system you're going to have to get, what your realistic expectations are. Uh, we have relatively cheap electric here, so it doesn't make as much sense other than the fact that we still deal with a lot of storms, hurricanes, power outages, things like that. So it kind of makes sense to me to, to venture into some of that. Um, you're really going to have to crunch the numbers. There's a lot of awesome calculators out there, but it's high initial upfront cost. And if you want the peace of mind of it, some people see the investment, some people absolutely do not. But we're going to be covering a lot more of that on the channel coming up as well. <clears throat> Let's see. Danny says, I lost my star. Sorry, Danny. Aww. I wish I had some more I could throw out there right now, but I cannot to do that. Uh, Miss Lee says, I had to renew my yearly membership to keep my star. Well, I'm surprised Adam hasn't Who's hooked y'all up. That was Miss Lee. Oh. oh. Thank you so much, Miss Lee. Um, but I'm surprised Adam had, I mean, He's been Santa here lately with all that stuff. Um, so Robert says, Tiffany and Andrew, if you take ice cold water, set your broody chicks in. Yep, yes, I've heard this. We've heard that. Um, what we've also done too is just I uh, grab the one if she's real persistent about sitting up there, and I just stick her down there with the rooster in his little pen, and in then his about jail. yeah, in his jail. <laughs> so about two or three days of her being down there, she forgets, I guess. So yeah. <laughs> That's a good way to break them. We do have a little jail down yeah. there. It's supposed to be our nursery, but that's now the rooster's jail since he wants to act up. And uh, the hens dig in there and get with him. He's he's content in there. He doesn't try to get out. He doesn't care. Oh, he is happy as can be. The <laughs> hens just come and go as they please. Come say, hey, leave. Yeah. He's happy as can be in there. So now it's broody jail as well. <laughs> so how's the bat adoption program going? I haven't checked out there in a few days. I did. Days. I checked. Okay. Nothing. All right. I'm about to say. I'm on. assuming you would tell me. I haven't seen nothing either. That's going to take a while. But yes, we yeah. still have some bat houses up for everybody that's asking. <laughs> So chicken tractor, that's been a popular question here lately. It is on my to build list, but before I get into stuff like that, I'm going to get into those types of projects after our big outdoor area is done. And that's still going to take many, many, actually it's going to take a few yeah, more months. Yeah, this outdoor project is kind of holding up, you know, some of the other things. It is, too. but yeah. I'm not working on the outdoor project every day because I can't, because we still yeah. have property to maintain, take care of errands to run, other content to get out. So I'm torn, y'all. I really am. I'm trying to consistently get out three to four videos a week, and that puts pressure on me to record other content and not work on the big stuff. And if I really want to put the big stuff out, which I'm excited about, I mean, there's times that I could only put one video out a week, you know, if I'm lucky on this really big, gigantic stuff that you work on for days and days and days at a time. So I'm playing it by ear, filling everything out this year, looking at all the analytics and deciding how we need to take the channel. But we won't always have a major project, but we'll all have uh, some smaller stuff going on. And I have so many cool builds and things that I want to share with you all. So that will absolutely be coming up. <clears throat> so Sharon says, I have an update on the triplets from Hammer, Hammer and Gloria triplets. That's crazy. Yes, so they're doing good. Can use the prayers. Only weigh about three pounds each. Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness. The yeah. scary times right there. Yeah. So, okay. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Sharon, for uh, yeah, giving us the update. For keeping us posted. We'll definitely keep them in our thoughts and prayers for sure. Andrew and Sankey says, how's the garden doing? Garden's looking awesome, except for my okra. It's acting a little weird this year. And I, yeah, yeah, I think I'm gonna hit up some fertilizer, but I mean, we're in good compost and all every the corn's looking beautiful beans. Everything is, I mean, growing faster than I expected, but the okra is just kind of acting stunted. I don't know what's going on with it. So mm -hmm. I guess I'm gonna hit it with a little fertilizer. Maybe I, I don't know, but, uh, 
Odyssey is not the end of the world if the okra doesn't come up because it produces more than we can ever eat. And I tend to get burnt out on it because we eat it so much once it starts. Well, I'm wondering, should we, because, you know, we only did the one section of the bed in okra. Should we go ahead and just start a new row um, on the other side? I think I'm going to pick up a little bit of fertilizer this week. Just put it around them only. Mm -hmm. Eventually, I'm going to fertilize the corn. Um, because we only topped our garden beds off this year with compost. We didn't just completely rejuvenate them. So we're going to run out of nutrients eventually. That's just the way it is. So let me hit those. You should know in a few days if you see them greening up and how good they look. All right. So I'm finally getting down through all of Adam's memberships here. Thank you, Adam. Again, appreciate you so much. I see there's no bat video. I don't think he put them up, says Jay Hess. <laughs> I showed y'all a picture, and I meant to catch it in a video while I was outside working around the barn the other day. We'll, we'll uh, try to, to do that there. So Zoe wants to know how much you like your new bracelets. We love yes, them. I don't think um, you were on. The yeah, we showed them off the other ago. week. We, we were wearing we've been them wearing them, showing them yeah. off. But, yeah, we got them right here. We love them, Zoe. Thank you so much. We still we got, got your letter. letter. Yes. So thank you Very so much. Very thoughtful. Thank you. So Kelly uh, says, we bought property to build on in Pinetta. I've been following your barn dominium, all your work. I love Pinetta area. A lot of my family is originally from Pinetta. Uh, Tiffany used to work up there and see a lot of patients. And I guess through the woods, it's not too terribly far from us, although yeah, it's quite a ride. <laughs> yeah, we still ride, you know, dirt roads that way. We do. Yeah, it's, we it's a long haul on dirt <laughs> yeah. roads. I mean, Texas, what? Couple. Three hours, well, two, that's two and a half big hours. Loop. Yeah, you get up there is probably at one to two hours by dirt roads, and what forty five minutes to an hour by highway or something oh, yeah. like that. It's not that far by highway, but beautiful area up there. So uh, continue to watch over two hundred videos, and don't hesitate to ask any questions. I get emails weekly about uh, barn dominium stuff, solar stuff, everything else, and I do my best to respond to them. I'll admit. Sometimes I get behind on emails because I get so many direct messages and emails. But if you have some specific questions that are just, you know, driving you crazy and you're trying to get them figured out, go ahead and ask. I'll help you out as best I can there. All right, let's scroll on down and catch a few more of these. Of course, it just shot me all the way to the bottom. So let me go back up and cherry pick a few of these comments. So. Uh, Miss Lee, yep, take it, Tiffany. Is it cooking tonight? Yes, nope. I guess one night we ought to just put an electric griddle up here and maybe roll a hot dog around there while we're talking to everybody. See, we're cooking. <laughs> yeah, we didn't know what the weather was going to do tonight, so we just had leftovers. Yeah. Well, it's, it's, it's excuses, excuses. I don't right? know. It's too windy. The temperature's dropping out there. It's done dropped some more. Now I'm yeah. looking over it and it's way too windy. I'm not going to have my, my DSLR camera flipping off up there. We was out there with the dogs a minute ago. I ran Ruger and we was trying to let them eat and we're already in jackets and stuff going. What? I, know, I just put up all the jackets too. Washed them all and, <laughs> and, them up. and here it is. I think it's going to be in the forties. Like, there's no way we're going to get any more cold now. We could be yeah. in the forties tomorrow morning too, <laughs> the way it's dropping. And uh, I'm going to want a little bit of a jacket in the forties. That's for sure. Uh, all right. What are y'all talking about? Adam. So uh, what weird things will you be starting in the garden? I don't think we're really doing much weird stuff this year, but the new experiment for me is watermelons, even mm -hmm. though they grow so good in this state. I love watermelon. And see, I love cantaloupe. So I've never really grown much watermelon, but we're experimenting with that this year. Um, we're doing it outside the fence. So there's a risk there. Coyotes, cows now that we're dealing with, um, deer, all that stuff. When so, are you going to put the electric fence? Uh, as soon as they start vining out, there's actually okay. something there. I still got a little bit of time. Plus, I got to do a waterproof enclosure and all. I could get that up by the end of this week. That may be one project that I'll, I'll put on my list for sure to do this week. So, uh, other weird stuff. Oh, the one odd thing I am doing this year is the lemon cucumbers. So, yes, yes. So I've got cash recommended. I try those yeah. and I'm shocked. I've never heard of cash actually recommending a vegetable. Uh, I don't know if he's <laughs> on the night he might not be um so he might get a kick out of that so i was like heck cash you recommend a vegetable it must be pretty good because he eats nothing but meat it seems like so uh we're going to try those out there other than that um we got a few varieties of tomatoes this year uh not really going too terribly crazy i guess we should always experiment with something this year so, Mr. Robert, thank you so very much. I'm just now getting down to you. Thank you so much for your donation yes, there. thank you. Since I missed the last two live chats and missed everyone. Well, oh, we missed you too. Yeah, welcome back to chit-chatting with us. <laughs> yeah, somebody mentioned there's a new feature now because you see the thumbs up mm -hmm. on it. So. Oh. What does that mean? I don't know. I guess it's just a new feature. Well, it's letting me click on it as well. I guess you can give a thumbs up on people's comments or or maybe it's just uh, maybe the their, yeah, their generosity yeah. or something. But that's, that's awesome. Cool. Yeah. yeah. 
So I've heard you talk about a sawmill and wondering what brand you're going with. Going with no sawmill right now, to be honest with you. I've set my chop shop up, as we call it, my firewood barn, um, to, to do a sawmill. It's still on my mind, but right now we've got so many outdoor projects and other stuff going on. I wish I had it because I, I could use some slabs for some of these cool furniture projects and things I want to build. But as far as cutting dimensional lumber, I am so busy. I still got so much just firewood to continue to make. Um, but it probably, I'm just assuming, I really don't know, to be honest with you, probably one of the big two brands, you know, like a Wood Miser or a Woodland Mills or something like that. It, it's probably going to be something a little more affordable because I'm not planning on going just in cutting and selling, you know, but you just don't never know where the channel may go in the future. But as of right now, too many projects, too many things going on uh, to be tackling the sawmill at the moment. That may be something I look at closer to fall this year. Because that's a good time to be out there working because, man, 90 and 100 degrees around here, oh, which I'm going to be splitting some firewood in it. But uh, I have looked at a few woodland mills. I've actually looked at pretty heavy because it's just kind of your typical homeowner stuff and much more affordable. Plus, there's a lot of uh, comments and reviews and other stuff out there as well. All right, Adam, thank you so very much. Oh, my goodness. He says, wow, new feature on thumbs up on the donation. So, yeah, I'm just now making it down to you. I just seen that myself. Thank you, Adam. Thank you so, so very much. So, Kale says, who else here lives in Tasmania? I thought we did have somebody from Tasmania a while back, but I know we have a lot of people um, from Australia, you know, over close to you. I see a lot of people starting to respond here now, but I thought we did have somebody else from Tasmania. So all the way across the world over there. Thank you so much for chit-chatting with us. Uh, so Krista says, happy Sunday, everyone. Or Kathy, uh, happy Sunday, everyone. Happy Sunday yeah, to you. Happy Sunday to you. Thank y'all so much for spending your Sunday afternoon with us. We appreciate you. And wait on your videos from cameras of the wildlife visiting your property, says Denise. You know what? I think I still have one or two cameras out, yeah, but I kind of ask if I got them, all out. them all, which I typically do in the summertime. I guess I should still leave them out because the bears will be coming back around. There's so much other stuff to see. I probably still should run at least a couple of them. So I may put them back out and then we can always pop them up at the end of a, you yeah, know, that'll a, be fun. Yeah. Fitting video right there. It's cool to see what's roaming around out there. Okay. Let's go on down here. Can Tiffany do weekly shorts on the chickens? Um, we can play around with some of that. So I'm nervous about shorts. I attempted them a while back, and I'll just be honest with you, our viewer base doesn't really care for them. I got yeah, we got I got murdered every time I, <laughs> I posted shorts. People are, I hate them. So what I can do is post shorts, but turn off the feature that notifies everybody. So that means if you want to see some shorts, just come on our channel daily. You know, there's a section for videos, there's a section for live streams, and there'll be a section for shorts. So you, it'll be on you to kind of go check and see if we've uploaded some shorts. I may attempt that feature right there. Yeah, you know, I mean, we could do we could do that with a lot of different things. Um, I guess you just need to show me, you know, how to do it. Yeah. So I can yeah, we play around with that. You can grab my camera. It's already got the studio mm -hmm. app on there and do one really yep. quick. So we may attempt that. But like I said, I don't think I'm going to do it where it notifies y'all. So when we start posting a few, I'll just let you know. Check our channel every day. Check under the shorts and see if you see a new video there. Uh, that way, we're not everybody's not getting pop-up notifications of a short. They get settled down. They think they're going to watch one of my typical 15 or 20-minute videos, and it's done and 15 or 30 seconds. Yeah, I think y'all can watch me fight the eggs with the hens. And <laughs> <laughs> I think I was irritating people a while back because all I have ever really made consistently is long form video. And yeah. I think that's what people, that's their expectation. Play around with it. So yeah, we, we may do that right there. All right. Let's see. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. What's a Xena? So Shannon planted a couple pots of Xena, says Glenn, it's in the front, front flower bed. I went out to weed it earlier, and all the weeds were Xenas that came back up from last year. You know what I got coming up from last year? Mm -hmm. I've got basil popping up out there in the garden. Um, I think there's a couple peppers popping up. I had all the cucumbers come up from last year, yeah. so that's crazy. I don't know what a Xena awesome. is, by the way, other than Xena Warrior Princess. Y'all remember that show back in the day, back <laughs> when we had three channels to watch, and it, the TV was really bad. That was like one of my favorite shows. Yeah, yeah. I remember Xena Warrior Princess. That's about <laughs> the only Xena I know right there, and obviously not spelled that name. Y'all might get a kick out of that one right there. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> So, hello, good people of y'all. Look at bird netting to spin out the top of your garden, uh, 15 feet above the ground. I have, but it's so much work and effort. Um, it provides some shading effect. 
I have I actually did not have much problems with birds this year. Last year they they ruined me. I don't really think I want to put the netting out there and we get such crazy thunderstorms and wind here. I'd be nervous that it would just rip <laughs> that stuff down. So that's not something I think I'm uh, going to go after right now. Uh, what else we got going on? Let me go in there and catch a couple more. There's are any plans on growing asparagus. We've talked about it, yeah. but um, I can't remember, does it grow well here or not with our climate? I, I need to look into we it. We were going to look into it. Let me write that down and I'll look into it. Yeah. We got a pen. Yep. I was trying to clean up. Because we do like asparagus. So that would be yeah. another new vegetable. Although we burned ourselves out on it last year. We ate it so much. I told her, I don't want no more asparagus. I'm done with it. And we went months and months and months without eating any. But I really do like it, especially whenever you do that Parmesan asparagus. I like it all Somebody just ways. mentioned strawberries. Yep. Yeah. I seen that. That's Brian right there. Um, Man. I just don't know that our beds out here get enough sunlight for them. I wanted to do them out here, but I don't know that it's going to We'll have to look sun. into that. Here's the thing, y'all. I've never got into the fruit stuff because as much as I hate to admit this, it's not really into fruits. And fruits taste amazing. Well, strawberries, though. Well, yeah. And then we can play around with that. We may stick a few out here in the bed because I always see them available around here. I don't know if it's a little well, dwarf. I'll put that on meetings. my list, too, and we'll see what kind of sun they need, we may, too. Yeah, we'll see what Lowe's or Tractor Spy or anybody has around here. But I don't know why I've just never really got into the fruits. And like I said, they taste really good whenever we have them. Like, oh, man, we should eat these more often. But I just don't ever crave them. Yeah. Like, I'm a meat and vegetable guy. And I really do love vegetables. That's why we've been talking about forever trying the carnivore diet. Because I see a lot of benefits that people I know personally have claimed from it. <laughs> but I'm like, man, I really like vegetables so much. I don't know if I can not have I vegetables. <laughs> I really do. So, Lance, thank you so very much. Thank Sorry you, I'm man. so far behind. He says, for more electrical in the outdoor area. Yeah, uh, that's coming. I don't know if people agree with you on the more electrical, <laughs> but thank you so very much, Lance. There will be a little coming out there in the outdoor area. I do need to run some electrical, uh, probably a couple spots in the fence and then um, in the shed. I need to get back out there on the shed and build our little racks. We've already got one rocket stove in there and a rug and that other stuff. Need to do a little trimming out there, too. Boy, add it to my list. <laughs> Now that I think about it. Uh, so have we seen any problems with our spray foam yet? Mold or falling under baiting on spray foam, rock wool insulation we build. Zero issues. Absolutely no mold that in the house. Good. Nothing seen, not even nothing in like damp places like the, the bathroom or anywhere else. But we run a whole house dehumidifier. People, if you're going to do spray foam, you, you're sealing your house tight. And the saying is you got to ventilate right. Problem is a lot of people do amazing insulation like that. Then they oversize their AC, which short cycles because the house is so efficient. It kicks on, it kicks right off. It doesn't pull the humidity or moisture out of there, and they don't add a dehumidifier. That's very, very important. You can wind up with moisture and mold issues if you don't do that. But I love it. I mean, we got a two-ton AC that just runs this house beautiful. I mean, works perfect. I love getting away with such a small AC. Plus, it's good on your electric. Yeah, and in the attic, we don't see anything going on with the spray foam. I mean, we left it full thickness in there. There's That's nothing right. falling down, so mm -hmm. everything looks good. Yep, so far so good, and it's been a couple years now, so I would think we would have seen something by now if that was an issue. All right, I'm going, I'm going. Did Crystal have to leave already? I don't think so. Okay, Mr. Mike She's... says Crystal leave. Oh, okay, he's saying something else. Yeah, no. She's uh, still responding on here. All right, good deal. I was like, no, she done left us already. So there's Mikey, my Fisker sponsor right there. He says, hey, oh, here we go. Uh, something else new I've got to study for and build up here. <clears throat> he says the uh, ham license fund. Wonder what's going uh, to Andrew and Tiffany. Wonder what's what is going to Andrew and Tiffany. I don't know what that part means, but I know what the ham radio <laughs> license is right there. Mr. Mikey, thank you so much. <laughs> thank Elaborate you, on what's going on, Andrew. Oh, you probably mean, probably means what, what of the donation or Fisker's products is going to you right there. It's all going to, to both of us. Thank you so much, Mr. Mikey. Appreciate you. Uh, I bet they take better care of their bats in Tasmania since we've been talking about that, says Danny. <laughs> probably so. Although I'm putting up homes for ours over here. <laughs> So, question for Tiffany. We know what hobbies Andrews likes. Yeah, working, apparently. What hobbies do you enjoy? Well, I enjoy, like every other woman, shopping. <laughs> but I don't do a whole lot of shopping. But 
Mm-hmm. We enjoy going. I enjoy going out on the boat. I enjoy being in water, being around water, going to the beach, um, riding horses, which has been several years since I've been able to ride horses. But um, I just love being outdoors, and I kind of share the same hobbies as Andrew a lot of times. Yeah. Yeah. And the she, enjoyment. she loves, did you say, going out to dinner? Oh, yes. That's she like loves, my favorite hobby. She loves whining and dining. <laughs> yes. Of course, we don't do it very Somebody much. Somebody else to cook for me. Yeah. And, um, well, we both me. love to cook too, you especially. Like yeah. it's we do enjoy it, but no, she, I do enjoy going she out. loves a good I'm a foodie. She is what both yeah. are, in case y'all haven't never noticed. If I'm going to a new town. The first thing I'm doing is I'm researching all the restaurants. I'm looking <laughs> at all the reviews. I'm looking at all the pictures. <laughs> yep, she's exactly right. And I we do get more excited about that than anything. Yeah. Like whenever we went on that business trip out to Vegas, that's all we were doing. We didn't care about nothing else. I wanted yeah. to see a show too, but we're like where do we go eat? Yeah, I just want to go eat somewhere. So Perry's got a good point with the expansion of the garden. Um, although you think you're going to have too many cantaloupes and watermelons, if you start juicing cantaloupe, watermelon, mix, cucumbers, amazing drink all summer. You're exactly right. We used yeah, to juice we'll a lot. That. Yeah, we will. We'll, we'll make sure. Watermelon juice sounds amazing. Well, so it, I just love cucumbers mm-hmm. as well. So mixing all that together sounds absolutely Oh yeah. Perfect. And I'll typically do that with the cucumbers. Um, it's, well, not necessarily juicing them, but I'll slice them up and put them in water in the refrigerator. And I love the taste of cucumber water a lot. So, yeah. So good idea. Keep them coming. All right. Um, uh, I'm reading. I was trying to catch up on uh, what somebody else here said here. I've got to bounce all around. I'm so sorry. Y'all. So Ian says, I'm 35 and I love the longer videos. I see several y'all talking about the shorts, but I was raised by a much older generation. I get it. I always say, I think the younger people, our audience is typically, you know, older based forties and on up. Um, I think that's why the longer format does very well. Um, it, it typically does seem like the younger generation in general prefer, prefers the shorter stuff. Plus, y'all know me. I like to talk. I like to yak. I like to show things. I like to educate. I like to learn. And it's hard to do that in a few seconds. I, I do that by getting out, uh, you know, longer form content. Y'all, I mean, I record a lot of times hour worth of stuff to get a 10 minute video because I'm sometimes when I'm editing, I'm like, oh, my gosh, will this guy shut up? Like, I got to cut this out. Will this dude ever <laughs> shut up? Uh, <laughs> I get tired of hearing myself talk sometimes <laughs> so larry says i predict you're going to be giving away loads of melons probably so if they grow like that but like i said we go to cookouts almost every single week mm-hmm. all spring and summer long we boat so won't be a problem we always hook our friends up with vegetables and stuff anyway so uh we enjoy doing that so glenn says the only thing i ever get any views on my channel are shorts then again i haven't learned how to make a thumbnail thumbnails are very important i'm really not the world's best on those myself i've got to work better on that and man it kind of seems like it's pretty easy to get the views on shorts um easier than long form long form just kind of seems like it takes a longer time to develop uh but if you're going to do this kind of for a living it's good to have a mix of both most likely is but the long forms it is much better for the person trying to make a living at least in my opinion mm-hmm. and for the type of work that we do and glenn i keep forgetting i gotta go check your channel out every time you say it, i'm like glenn's got a channel glenn's got a channel all right I got, let me write it down yeah, for you <laughs> it on my list <laughs> All right. So, yeah, Crystal, I seen where you just said that you had to put your dad in a nursing home. They're so sorry to hear that. I know you've been struggling so much uh, with him. Um, I, I hate to hear that. Uh, so y'all please keep Crystal and her dad in your thoughts yeah, and prayers thing to go through. But. Yeah. And Miss Lee and her husband, you know, he just had another surgery this week. He's he's been battling with cancer I and was uh, reading her update up there. Yep. Yeah. Now he's got to go do a lot of radiation this and other things. Hard. So, uh, oh, I know it seems like it. Gosh, often just can't catch a break no that's what it seems like it's often having surgeries and other stuff going on so y'all there's a lot of our family here that's uh could going through it yep, could use your thoughts prayers or reaching out a little email hey how you doing checking up on you and i know a lot of you are already doing that we appreciate you doing it so much so chris i'm waiting for tiffany's zucchini bread mm-hmm. which you're gonna make it this year which like miss rudmilla said isn't zucchini bed bread pretty much a dessert and i'm like yeah if you look at how much sugar yeah. and everything else, it looks like it's just they throw some vegetables in a, a cake and we call it bread i'm definitely gonna make it this year <laughs> yeah i'm going to do it that was right <sighs> So the retired gardener just jumped on and said, hello, Chad. I'm new. Welcome, sir. Welcome. Yeah, what we uh, 
What we typically do here is just chit chat on Sundays, allow people to ask us questions. A lot of times we'll cook, but we had storms come through today, windy, nasty outside. So we decided just to stay inside tonight. Uh, but if you come across the channel due to some content, we garden on the channel. We have a little homesteading uh, atmosphere here. We build our own house on the channel. We do DIY stuff. And then every Sunday we just get on here and chit chat with everybody. So good community of people here. Ask any questions that you have. We can't catch them all. I do apologize, but we can kind of just go through and cherry pick them right here. So somebody just said, how's the citrus trees doing How about that? Mm -hmm. So citrus out there got destroyed last year from, we had crazy heats. Then we had really bad frost. Uh, what do we have? Teen, a night they got in the teens and it and pretty much just killed all my citrus off. Then my two new limes on the porch, they're not acting the world's healthiest. I think I had them shaded too much. Citrus yeah, loves Yeah, the one sun. was definitely shaded. Yep. So yeah. I think I caused that issue. We had them in pots, trying to make them look good. And I've been highly successful growing citrus in pots in the past. Normally I'll get seven, eight years out of one for you. Then you transplant it or it becomes stunted, you know, root bound in a pot. So I'm probably going to have to start getting them out of our landscaping up here. And I really want to keep my limes up here, but uh, we're going to have to move them out where they can get more sunlight. Oh. And then, of course, our big citrus down in the woods is just doing fantastic. Our kind of our natural tree, our satsuma, we think it is, or I'm not exactly sure, but uh, it has zero issues at all. All right, let's see. Adam, my goodness, thank you. Adam, corkboard fun for Zoe's artwork. Corkboard. Oh, okay. I get what yeah. you're saying. So it's like a, Eric like a was poke saying board or there, something. Yeah. All right, where is it? Right there. Okay, so got the wavy mark. Says Zoe <laughs> says you guys need a court board behind you for her artwork. All right, <laughs> and now Adam's buying it for us. So thank you so very much, Adam. And thank you, uh, Adam, I appreciate you so much. And we see you there, uh, Zoe. Thank you. So Crystal, let's see. Okay, that's a question to Crystal right there. I'll keep going on down. So Tiffany should get her license as well for ham radio. We have some thing called YLRL, Young Lady Radio Lee. You think you'd be into that? I really don't know much about it, so you even know. I don't, I don't know, know that she would be, but I'll let her. If she shows any interest <laughs> in it, know. we'll absolutely do it. Because if I'm going to go ahead and be studying for the license, sure. I don't know. How is the paper towel holder? Mr. Donald, we have not used it yet, but we still have it down We're on the counter. We're looking forward to using it, though. Yep. Yeah. Once we get some tables and stuff set up out there in the outdoor area, that's probably where it's going to be clamped on as we move around and cook in uh, different areas. Okay, Mikey, my goodness. Ham license for fun for Tiffany, too, so she can <laughs> use the ham radio as well. Hint, hint. I got you. <laughs> Mikey, thank you so very much. Thank Truly you, do Mikey. appreciate you. I've still got so many Fiskars things out there that I've got to start uh, tearing out of the package and use. I've already got a bunch of them, but I'm actually looking forward to using all the hammers. I had no idea if Fiskers had so many hammers, so I'm going to be doing some little review videos to put out over on our review channel. And also his well. plants are doing really good too. That's right. Yep. Now we did lose, uh, we lost one tomato in shipping. I guess that's going to happen. The other two are looking really good. They're starting to kind of really settle in. What did we have? Was it basil or oregano? We've got so many out there now. I can't remember what come oh in, um, but your basil. herbs. Yeah. And then cilantro. Mm -hmm. And then I think I've got basil popping up out there in the garden from last year. So yep. Mikey, cilantro thank you so much. Off. Thank you so much, Mikey. Yes, Appreciate thank you. Thank you, Mikey. Oh, uh, let's see here. Speaking of, oh, Crystal, speaking of birthdays, <laughs> Tiffany's in two weeks. Thank you for reminding uh, me. What you for your birthday? a reminder there. <laughs> 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 I don't need anything for my birthday. I'm completely happy. Oh, bum, bum, bug. <laughs> Maybe just take me out to eat. There we go. We'll probably take her out to a nice dinner because she is all yeah. about that. She'd rather go out mm. to a fancy dinner any day of the week than, than get something. And she is not a flowers and other stuff type of girl. Never Jewelry, has been. No, nah. no, none of that. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll probably just go out to a really nice dinner and let her just order mm. anything she wants. So have I ever considered a small orchard? Uh, yeah, I have. I've been back and forth on that. It'd be more citrus than anything else here. We don't really grow like apples. Pears are very hard to grow here. They kind of like more of a colder climate. So eh, we just have to really kind of think about what we would want to grow in it. Honestly, I've already got so much stuff going on. I really don't know that I want much more stuff to, to, have to take water care and take care of like that. Yeah. Like I love gardening with a passion, but when it's finally over late in the summer, I'm kind of like, <laughs> all right, I'm kind of glad it's gone. Even though I love my garden because it's a daily chore, but then yeah. you finally get a break. It's like, oh boy. <laughs> uh, let's see what else we got going on. 
So, Cash, you made it, buddy. Good to see yes, you. Yes, but he's saying he's got to check out now. Uh-oh. I see right here. He says, work. my side business yeah. is booming right now. Cash is one of those guys that gets his hands in everything. <laughs> Not only does he have a full-time job, but he does so many side things, and that's kind of what I want to do in the future to make sure there's always something there to support us. So, mm -hmm. apparently, Cash is working today. Well, we're glad that it's doing well. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Awesome. We want everybody to do well. That's for sure. Okay, it shot me way down there. I don't know, remember where I was at. Um, how's the dog? Sand pit. We'll just start cherry picking comments from here. Sorry, y'all. It shoots me all around on the comments from time to time. I think once we get 100 in there, it throws me to the bottom, and then you got to go back through them, and then it throws you to the bottom. So the sand pit, oh boy, Ruger has been tearing that thing up the last few days. So as it gets warm, that is his favorite spot to go. It is. Dig. It gets nice and shady right there. So mm -hmm. he loves to lay in that cool sand. And we wet the sand. So that he loves that stays damp all day. But he has had a ball the last few days. He is, he's dead, y'all. He's just wore out. <laughs> so Friday, uh, we had company come over and they brought their, his girlfriend, we're calling her now, <laughs> their dog. And they played for hours and they hours did. and hours. They played so hard. Oh my goodness. And they played in the sandbox and everywhere else. It was cute. So he thought he was going to sleep all day yesterday, which is what he typically does. Nope. We carried him out on the boat yesterday, and then we went to a cookout, uh, had a little fish fry and everything else. So he had to stay up all day long again, and all he's done is crash. Played, do played with dogs all day yesterday, yeah. too. Played so, with dogs yesterday, yeah. too. So he's but, Yeah, we were sitting by the pool, and the dogs were playing in the sandbox, and we're like, that was the perfect thing to put right there. Because it just works out perfectly yeah, with the landscaping it looks and just good. him it's having cool. his own area. It's perfect. Yep. We really like that it's, it's put into the landscape. It's kind of uh, <clears throat> kind of neat. All right. So Cash said he's got to go out and run because he's working my new-to-me dozer dump truck. Huh? Hmm. You didn't tell me you got that. <laughs> A flatbed <laughs> doing fire breaks now. for people doing some land work. Oh, my goodness. Cash. Buddy, when you going to rest? I know you're probably already back to work. And, oh, my goodness. I didn't even know he did that. You didn't tell me that this week. <laughs> all right he says i'll watch the live stream after i'm done working buddy just go home eat get a shower and rest don't worry about that all right i lost my spot again where was i at uh-huh i'm reading y'all trying to find a comment here i lost my spot lost my spot y'all bear with me i know it's always awkward when there's silence there was one more here. Where are we at? I'll just skip around. There was a comment I was going to respond to, and I cannot find it. All right. Well, I'll just go to the bottom. How about that? Speaking of the bottom, Mikey, goodness gracious. Oh. Mikey. Mikey. Oh. Tiffany's birthday dinner fun, so fancy sweet. style. That is. Oh, thank you. Mikey, thank you so much, dude. Y'all, oh. by the way, I know we got some new people in here tonight, and I, I say this. We, we will never, ever, ever. Yeah ask for donations only thing we ever ask is if y'all want to support us through our amazon because it's a huge part of what we do every month but we have such kind of generous people do. that do stuff like this all the time That's and awesome. i assure you every time y'all put something to a fun like yes, this we make it happen we make it happen for sure y'all have y'all have been so kind to us over the years i mean y'all helped us buy tractor attachments and all kinds of other things that we've needed and we've made for sure it's happened so Mikey has been unbelievably kind and generous. We'll for sure Thank be taking you, Tiffany out. Aww. So uh, with that, it looks like we for sure. Start thinking about where I want to go. I think I already know. That looks like we for sure cover McDonald's oh. with that. So that's where we're going. I get you. I might get you two. Big they Macs. have that new um, steak bagel back. Oh yeah, that old steak bagel from back yeah. in the day. It's that not we... new, but it's back. Yeah, yeah, I got you. I'm kidding, Mikey. Thank <laughs> you so very much. That is so kind and generous right there. So Joe says you're a homesteader, whether you know it or not. Isn't that the truth? You're checking through livestock and you do everything else yourself. That's pretty much the country way of living. I mean, that's that's our lifestyle. Some people get really uptight when you say you homestead and they're like, oh, no, you've got to be fully self-sufficient, yeah. this, that, and other. Well, we're working toward a lot of that. You can't just get it all day one. Well, I think that's why you also labeled it modern homesteader. Yeah. 
well, everybody's got their own different yeah. views and opinions of it, but we are in a way homesteading. And as we get more animals and we're trying to do the majority of stuff ourselves and the DIY and mm -hmm. the gardening, produce a lot of our own stuff, we're not there yet, but we're for sure going to get there. I still call it homesteading, but it, of course it isn't like grandpa or great grandpa right. and he used to do where they truly had to depend on themselves. I want to depend more on myself. I, I enjoy that. It gives me comfort. All right, so Andrew Pross. Oh, okay. Mikey's update on his new uh, man. He splits a lot of firewood. He says process three and two thirds cords in a single hour with two people with the new wood process. Wow, that is insane. That is crazy. Mm -hmm. It would be all me and her could do if everything was set up perfect to get a cord done in an hour, and we'd be killing ourselves to do that. Everything would have to be perfect. Three, uh, basically, almost four cords in an hour. Where does Mikey live again? It's Tennessee, right? Oh. Yeah, yeah. But I say, I Mikey, say, bring it on over. Let's, on down, let's get it done in one, one weekend. Get all of our firewood <laughs> uh, done in one weekend. I bet you we got some wood that I don't know what processor <laughs> Mikey's got. He mentioned it last week. I didn't look it up, but I don't know if most processors need smaller size logs. We got some stuff, 36, 48 inches. I bet you probably don't want to run that through a processor, but man, that's that's awesome. So what is uh, our other channel? Well, it's channels plural. We have too many. I'm a glutton <laughs> for punishment. So our main channel is the Kelly's Country Life, where we do our homesteading and DIY stuff and building. Then I have the Kelly's Reviews. By the way, all the links are down in the video description. And I'll just do little short views of products and all the stuff Mikey's sending me and everything else. I've always enjoyed reviewing stuff. Some people want to watch it. Some people don't. So I just decided to break off and do a channel for that. Then we have the Kelly's Outdoors, where we do hunting, fishing, wild game cooking, when stuff like that. When we get to it. Yeah, when we get to it. That was the first channel I ever started. That channel was like, I don't know, 12, 15 years old. Mm -hmm. And I haven't worked it very much because I'm too busy working this channel. And then what well, else we do we have? We have plans to really work it more this year, hopefully. Yep. Hopefully. Yeah, we'll see. Then we have the Kelly's Off Script, uh, which I shouldn't even bring up right now because Chris is about to get all over me, where we started doing yeah. some podcasting and just venting to do our views he's already he's, sorry. he's already on me when it's podcast i know <laughs> that is when we have free time which we yeah. don't have anymore <laughs> because we stay so busy working all this and we almost started a cooking channel and decided okay we're done with channels so we're going to put the cooking back into this channel uh, especially once that outdoor area is done and we're doing it we're going to do it with a twist and a flare in. in such a way that it's t literally taking the wood that we produce and the charcoal that we produce and the things that we're physically building on the channel, the stuff people want to see, and then we'll occasionally cook and use the stuff. Speaking of, we used our Kamal on we Friday. We did. So we used the big rocket stove, six inch one I just built, and we used our Kamal. Man, oh man, what was all in that? Oh gosh. So I guess it's a, from what I can see, people are calling it a discada meal. Yeah. But I guess what Cash said, it's like, a Mexican barbecue as well. Yeah, that's what he refers to it as. It, it's almost like a fajitas to me. Yeah, in a, in yeah, a in a sense it is because you got your meats, you got your vegetables. So you start off with the bacon, then you put your chicken in, then you put your steak. Or no, excuse me, bacon, chorizo, yep. chicken, steak. And you're supposed to do like sausage or hot dogs, but I skipped that part. <laughs> <laughs> we <laughs> put our flair on it. We had so much meat in it anyways. I was like, ah. Uh, you know, I didn't want to overdo it. And then you do your onions, your peppers, your tomatoes, um, garlic, garlic. Wow, I juice. even put um, jalapeno in it, but it's just one big disc that you're just like mixing it all in and it's so oh. good. And then you use your tortilla and Whoa, no, she forgot all the cheese. Too. Oh, yeah, the to cheese. Queso cheese, shredded block cheese. a lot of cheese. ingredients. It is. It's more of like a crowd kind of meal, but it's uh, perfect it that. was good though. And it cooked very up good. very well. Actually, the, the, that the discada, whatever you want to call it, the Kamal, it is that big. Mm -hmm. And that rocket stove actually got too hot for it, which is beautiful because we can cook a ton of food in there. I had to choke it back down. So I got to play with all that. But we're going to do a lot of cooking in that in the future. But like she said at the end, just mix it all back in there. Mm -hmm. If you have it warming on the sides, all that cheese melted, and you can literally just take your tortilla shell and just scoop it right That's out, delicious. or you can put it right on it and go to your plate. But That's I mean, what we ate left over today because there was so is. much. Yep, yep. <laughs> we did eat that today. Yeah, and Chris says, all I heard is bacon. You're right. And the bacon was perfect in it. I was like, I just kept raving about, oh, man, the bacon's so good. Thick in it. cut bacon to the good <laughs> stuff. And then everything else is cooked in that bacon grease hole the mm -hmm. way it should be. Miss Redmilla, uh, she's going to kill us when she's on here. What happened to your diet? <laughs> and I've actually lost a couple more pounds for the first time in years. I'm two pounds away from getting back under 200. 
I need it's kind of got me motivated to really want to just go ahead and kick I it in the butt for the next few weeks. Then, uh, well, I, I, I haven't been back under 200 in a long time. Well, I think I'm gaining more because mu- I've been working out, so I think I'm gaining muscle and not losing any weight because that's typically what my body does, anyways, whenever I exercise. But probably need more cardio, but yeah, we can eat better too. Well, I'm about to start sweating it out with these 90 yeah. degree days. True, but true. I went from 225 to 202, so we're making some <laughs> progress. But yeah, I could eat even better. But we've cut a lot of just processed chunk out, and that alone helps so much. And we were talking about our diet this week. We're going to try to get more toward just solid cuts of meat. Um, again, we eat vegetables all throughout the week, and then we'll have one day that might be you like making a homemade pizza something. dough yeah. or something. Or typically, yep, I worked on that last week too. I did some more homemade dough. I'm trying to really get my recipe together and get it figured out. I did a pickle pizza and oh, a supreme pizza. pizza. Yeah. The pickle pizza it is so really good. good. As crazy as that sounds, we had a local brick oven pizza place start uh, serving pickle pizza. I'm like, oh, I'm love it. one day. Love Fell it. in love with it. Our whole crew eats it every time we go. Mm-hmm. Use the appetizer. Yeah. And she made one at the house of the day. I was like, this is. This is the dangerous. Bomb. If you love deal anything, that deal pickle pizza is amazing. <laughs> I love it. Now I kind of want a pizza, even though she's crazy about pizza. Me, I want steak and everything else, all that <laughs> stuff. Miss Lee, thank you so very much. <clears throat> Tiffany's birthday oh, dinner thank dessert. Thank you, Miss Lee. Oh. All right, we might get you that tiramisu. That yes, you like. that's my favorite dessert. Oh, y'all are being too tiramisu. kind tonight. Thank y'all so much. Thank so we're goodness. absolutely carrying her out 100%. And heck, I, I was going to pay for it, but y'all are covering it. Y'all making me look bad. <laughs> <laughs> thank y'all so much. My goodness, y'all are so kind. <clears throat> So Kathy says, did you get the Amazon credit for the air compressor I bought? I have not looked that up. Honestly, Kathy, there's so many things bought through our Amazon store now. Thank y'all so much for doing that. Um, I don't I don't go and look at the individual items unless something's constantly popping up and I'll just be like, oh, okay, this is something maybe I need to show more or talk about more. Uh, so if there's ever a time that you want me to check on an item, <clears throat> excuse me, lose my voice, you have to email me and I'll have to check and I'll have to kind of know the time frame and the name of the product. But I think we checked for you a while back and you're apparently doing it right. It was showing up in our account. So thank y'all so much for everybody that's doing that. That's a, a huge part of our income every month. <clears throat> yep. You're losing your voice over there. I am. Okay. So Glenn says when you spend so much of your time, if not more time fixing broke stuff, you're homesteading. Isn't that about <laughs> the truth? There's always <laughs> something to work on. My goodness. Yeah, yeah, I see you, Chris, about the podcast. Blah, blah, blah. I see. You. <laughs> so, Miss Kathy says my daughter's on her uh, very first vacation to Panama City. It's raining oh, there today, man. apparently. Yep. Um, That's what we did as kids. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We used to go to Panama City, and it was a bit wild and crazy back then, but they've gotten away from that spring break stuff. Yeah, uh, yeah we had a lot of storms blow through earlier. Um, so, we're a few hours east of Panama City, and our stuff kind of blew through a while ago. Sadly, I hate that she's this is the week you can't predict the weather it looks like it's going to be a windy and cool the next few days not what you want for beach weather um but panama city love it's it. florida it'll change in a minute though isn't that the truth if she's there all week um excuse me she'll she'll love it come probably wednesday thursday it's gonna be back mid 80s perfect beach weather we love destin which is just west of panama city they kind of connect together destin's real it's calm beautiful. laid back and the water and beach over there is just gorgeous that's like literally one of my favorite beaches on the planet we've been all all over the caribbean and all over florida from key west to everything up here but there's something about the gulf coast once you get to panama city destin pensacola that water and the huge massive white sand beaches i think that's the prettiest beaches gosh now i want a beach well i guess i am going to the beach soon yeah you are (laughs) she has to go to the beach at least a few times a year little girls trips and everything she's done hit me up a while back hey uh coming up here before i'm not a big beach goer so i'm really not that sand gets everywhere and that salt and all i'm like yeah you can knock yourself out i'm gonna get some fresh water somewhere (laughs) i I like the springs and the rivers and things like that (laughs) okay uh all right i'm reading i'm reading so Kathy says it's harder for women to lose weight. Apparently, I think I agree with you. I've heard that I enough. Definitely agree with you. Yeah. <laughs> now I also think why I lose more weight whenever we attempt to diet is because I'm I'm physically active and out there doing something all day long, every day, lifting stuff and whatever. Hey, what you talking about? 
like I, 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 I'm definitely more physical outside yeah, doing the thing. Yeah. Not, not that what you're doing isn't helping out. It for <laughs> sure is. I got to be careful and tread lightly here. Yeah. But uh, I definitely, I'm out there swinging axes and moving firewood yeah. around and pulling some snatch and stuff. So there's, I'm just burning more calories. I think that's just all there is to it. All right. So Eric says, you did almost as good as me. I went from 222 to 192. My goal is to get to 185. That's where I've always felt like I look the best and feel the healthiest. So that's what I'd like to get to. And then, you know, the real work is keeping it there. Because mm -hmm. once you get there, you're like, woo, well. Now it's summertime with barbecues. and uh -huh. I know. <laughs> yep. Oh, man. And we love, oh, you hear us. We love food. <laughs> we love food. Cookouts, barbecues, all that stuff. And then now we're doing this outdoor area. So we're going to have all these new recipes that we're just going to want to try. And, and that's some why of them aren't be I mean, we thought about <laughs> doing the carnivore diet, what, last last year about this time. Yeah. And I've st still uh, been on my mind. Maybe even earlier than that. But we knew that we were going to be doing the cooking channel. We just, it's just kind of hard. If you're going to dedicate yourself to something, you want to be dedicated all yeah. the way. Yeah. I think we just need to yeah. continue to. Keep the processed stuff out. Eat healthier, like you know, real meats, not processed Portion stuff. Portion control. Portion control has been my big thing. That's helped me a lot. Yeah. That and intermediate fasting. Um, those We're two things. To use smaller bowls, smaller plates. Cut back on the portions. Yeah. We don't buy any snacks, or we're you know we don't eat any sweets or anything. So we try to do good. Yeah. All right. So Kathy says we're celebrating their 25th anniversary this well, week. Happy awesome. anniversary. Happy anniversary. I awesome. see. Miss Lee says every time we order, we use your Amazon link. Thank you so Thank much you, for that. And I see you're also saying that you have to jump off time to fix dinner for her husband. Oh, good Thank night, you, Miss Lee. Yeah, we're happy to hear that uh, his surgery went well, and yeah. we'll continue to keep you and your husband our thoughts and prayers. Nice. I know he's got a long road ahead of him there. So thank you for uh, chatting with us tonight. So Adam, he says 13 months. Wow. Yeah, he's recognizing him as a member, our yeah, number one right. member who members everybody else up. He says, uh. Well, blame Mr. Doug. Yes, we all love Mr. <laughs> Doug. And he his his generosity has obviously been contagious. I told him that a long time ago. I don't think he realizes the reach that he's had on inspiring absolutely. and motivating other people. So uh, we absolutely. absolutely love Mr. Doug. And I seen some of y'all asking earlier. I haven't talked to him like via text or nothing this week, but he uh, we did talk through like some comments. So he's still around, still watching the content, seems to be doing well. <laughs> Usually every few weeks, uh, we'll just kind of chit chat, an email pops up or something. Hey, how you doing? Uh, so can you do your Amazon store on app, on phone, or just computer? You can do it on any of those. You just have to save uh, our store. Link's down in the description. So if you open up in your app, I cannot remember. It's so aggravating the app to, to remember where to save our store at. But somebody figured it out a while back. I do I'm it through my computer. Um, or you can just pull up a web browser or any of our links on your phone. I know people prefer the app, but I actually, I don't like the app. I like using the web browser. She likes the app. I do like the app. Um, and you can save it that way. That way, anytime you use it, yeah, it does. Thank you all again for asking. That does help out. So Kathy says, that's her first time ever at a beach. I always love hearing that. She says, uh, we live in Wisconsin. So, oh, wow. yep, I know there's some people who go their entire life and never see the ocean. That blows my mind. But here we are in Florida. I've never seen the Rockies. Want to see that so bad. Or, or my mom West. went into labor with me at the beach. That might be why you're <laughs> obsessed with it. Yeah. <laughs> it's in our blood. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so let's see what else we got going on up here. Um, I see somebody was saying retired gardener might have asked me a question, and I'm sorry I've missed it. I know you're new tonight. Yes, and if you ask something and we don't get to it, just ask you again. It. Yeah. I got to jump around. We get hundreds <laughs> upon hundreds of comments in our live stream, and it skips around on the screen for yep. him a lot. So, so it must be this: Have you investigated coon or coon piglets? That's K-U-N-E. I love them, and no, I don't have uh, any animals. No, I've actually uh never researched mm -hmm. into those and piglets is something we've been back and forth on if we want in the future you got to can you worried about this the flies and the smell which i know the smells more up to you keeping the pen up uh that is something that we will plan to look on or look into in the future we'll, yeah we want goats first I yep, believe. then cows like i really really want cows as my next animal but the problem is extremely expensive got to put all the pasture fence up the gates the post that stuff is through the roof right now. And then the cattle cost in general, you're talking tens of thousands of dollars just to get them going. I would love for us to be able to raise 
uh, one cow a year and just going halves of somebody and, and be able to fatten it up ourselves and know exactly what's going in our food and meat. That's kind of all part of this lifestyle. So we will continue to work toward that. But you ain't going to be seeing this fat boy right here putting up no fence this time of year in Florida. <laughs> now, that's a fall and winter project. So don't be expecting no cattle fence. <laughs> this summer <laughs> if it goes on sale I'll, i might buy it and store it but uh i'm not i'm not sweating death this ain't fencing time of the year out here uh let's see what else we got going on so i see mr mike was uh, honored for being a member for 13 months thank you so much mr mike yes, says my favorite you. channel to watch Aww. we thank you but you don't go to all the other channels live streams and tell them that do you <laughs> we appreciate hard time. yeah we appreciate you mr mike you've been <laughs> with us quite a while yes uh Okay, let's see what else we got going on. Well, <laughs> Rob says I better trade. There's a lot of tonight. new names on here tonight. There, I'm seeing. Yeah, yeah, there is. Welcome everybody. All right, let's see what it here. So, retired gardener, very good point. So, my husband and I. All right, okay. So I'm talking to the wife here. Says uh, recently challenged each other and no longer eat after 8 p.m. For me, I need to stop at 6 p.m. That's exactly right. Yep. And that's something I've pretty much always done because if I eat late, I've always felt like your body doesn't digest food properly. It Absolutely. affects my indigestion and everything else. Your body stores things incorrectly. I feel like I've always tried to eat early, but due to my intermediate fasting, 8 p.m. is actually my cutoff rule anyways. But I'm like you. I like to actually eat supper by 5 to 6 p.m. max. And then you're still up for a few hours and your body's digesting and things are moving. I just personally sleep better and feel better if I do it that yeah, way. Yeah, and we've really tossed around about eating like a brunch around 11, like 10, 30, 11, and then eating an early dinner around 3 or 4. Right. It kind of gets in your work And then fasting that whole time till the next day. But um, we just haven't figured out a good schedule. On that. <laughs> yeah, that one's hard because... Yeah. Both of those things interrupt your workflow. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think I would really love to do that. Cut off my eating by 3 p.m. and then go to sleep on a... You're not empty and starving to me at that point, but I like going to sleep on an emptier stomach than I do a full stomach because I just... Good I night, Tiffany, Mike. we love you guys. Thank you, Mikey. Hope we you appreciate you week. so, so much. Um, I see a lot of people mentioning So the Land. I think I have watched... So the land. It's been quite a while though. It's hard for me to keep up with a lot of other channels because I'm so busy making my own content here. Uh oh. And they said we're gone. We're frozen. Uh oh. What happened? We were just about to wrap this thing up and it's uh, back, we're gonna freeze up at the end. And y'all, I did a speed test before this, assuming y'all can even hear me. I might be talking to a dead screen. <laughs> so we're back. Okay, good. Wi Fi is perfect. <laughs> Danny said, Did you pay your internet bill? <laughs> no, no kidding. And I got the best I have ever in my life gotten today on T Mobile. I got 124 megs down and 55 up right before we started this. What 55 ups, what I'm really looking for for live stream, and that's already amazing. Hardly nobody gets that, so I, I don't know what's going on here. Uh, Wi Fi is excellent, speeds are good, so <laughs> who knows? Well, on that note, like I said, we typically chat about an hour. Thank you for everybody getting on spending your Sunday afternoon with us. Thank y'all for y'all's generosity. Y'all yeah, have been so kind. Y'all are always so kind to us. Thank you. Um, to the new people, hopefully, you enjoyed it. Hopefully, we got some of your questions answered. Said come back next weekend. Yeah, come back. We do this. Try to do this every single uh, Sunday at 7 p.m. Just unless it's a holiday weekend or something like that. But typically, the channel is about <clears throat> long form content, building stuff, education. Sundays are just kind of this relaxing and chit chatting. Like I said, normally we cook, but weather's not really uh, cooperating today, right there. So again, keep all the people in your thoughts and prayers. If if you would, I know a lot of y'all are chit-chatting and talking to each other, emailing and, and uh, texting. we got a lot of people that are really hurting and going through some stuff right now could use your support. And uh, we appreciate y'all being a part of our community and family. Good night. God bless. Night. We'll catch you next week. Thank you for the support. Have a good See week. See ya. Later. <laughs>